So what we actually actually are out here to, to do is we actually out here to teach God's commandments. That's so, right. In your Baptist church, right? Did they ever show uh, show you the depiction of Jesus Christ written in the Bible? What color is Jesus Christ? Huh? All praises. We understand that, but remember, we got to go by God's word. Because God is not gonna come down to tell you how He feels. Right. Remember, He written how He feels in the Bible. Right. Do you believe in the Bible? Okay. All praise. What's your name, by the way? Diane. Diane. Nice to meet you. I'm David. Okay. So what we're gonna do, okay, sis? We're gonna go through the Bible, and we're gonna show you God's word. Are you okay with that? Okay. All praises. Read. This is the Book of Revelation, chapter one and verse fourteen. Read up. One and one, the revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revealing of Jesus Christ, okay? Verse 3. Verse 3, blessed is he that readeth. So it's, the Lord says, blessed is he or she that reads his word. Right. You agree with that? Yeah. Okay, verse 11. Verse 11, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. Who, who is Alpha and Omega? Who is that? Okay, Christ, right? Read. Teach. And what thou seest, write in a book. Verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. So what race of people have woolly texture hair? Bring it out, huh? Bring it out. Woolly texture. Who has woolly texture hair? What texture? You know what race of people have woolly hair? You know what wool is? It's the texture of hair, right. like African African American hair. That's woolly hair. Right. What they demonize as nappy, that's woolly hair. Right. right. So Jesus Christ had woolly hair, right? As white as snow. So Jesus Christ's hair was nappy and it was white. Now you got, you ever uh, you have a, a older uncle or a grandpa when they get older, what color does their hair turn? White. Turns white, right? So Based off that two descriptions, right? Do any of these pictures line up with the Bible? Hey, is, hey, is this hair woolly? His hair is straight. Right, but is his hair white? These, these images right here? These images is not white, sister. These images that they, they gave us is Jesus Christ. Is this hair white? It's not, right? So that's not lined up with the Bible. Now, is this image, is, is this hair nappy? Is this hair woolly? Yes. Is this hair, what color is this hair, uh, his hair color? White. Okay, read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Remember, Jesus Christ's first miracle, he turned water into wine at a wedding. So the image that they gave us of Jesus Christ, his eyes is not red. His eyes is bluish, greenish. He has different type of eye color. But according to this description, the whiteness of his eyes are red. Right. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? B-R-A-S-S. -S. What color is brass, my sister? Brass is brown. 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 Like a penny. Like a, a trumpet. It's brown, right? Okay, read. As if they burned in a furnace. So if you burn anything, does it get lighter or darker? It gets darker. So Jesus Christ is described as a what? According to the Bible. Huh? I can hear you. This, Jesus Christ is described as a what? club was that at? <laughs> That was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. <laughs> then after class, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again, as a black man according to the Bible. Right. According to the Bible, Jesus Christ is a black man. Right. Yes, according to the Bible. That's right. right. Let's get Hebrews 7.14. I want to show you something right quick. You come over here, I want to show you something. Right here. 
So right here, right? It says, it says what? It says Judah, right? Yeah. It says next to Judah it says Black American, African Americans, right? So we're gonna read about Judah, uh, about uh, Christ's tribe. But read. You know what? I kind of huh? I, okay, why, why you say that? I don't know, I just had that feeling. You just had that feeling? Yeah, because my daughter said my mom didn't have a black man. All praises. All praises. But now we have the biblical proof that Jesus Christ is a black man according to Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. Right, right. So now we have the biblical proof that Jesus Christ is a black man. Great. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. Bring it up. For it is evident that our Lord spring out of Judah. So it is evident, meaning, meaning it is, we have evidence that our Lord, who's our Lord? Jesus Christ, right. he sprang out of Judah. Bring That's in Jeremiah 14, verse 2. Bring it out. So Jesus Christ comes from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Now we're going to read about the tribe of Judah right now. Because you're so-called African-American, correct? So you come from the same tribe of Jesus Christ, right. Judah. Get out. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Bring it out. Judah mourned in the gates thereof language. They are black unto the ground. It says the Jews are what? They are black unto the ground. What color does the Bible describe the real Jews to, to be like? What color? They are black. That's right. right. So the real Jews are black. All right. All right. We are the real Jews. Bring it out. We're not Jewish. Ish means pertaining to something like. Right. We are the real biblical Jews. We out. are the Israelites. So Jesus Christ was a black man, and the black and, and Jesus Christ came to die for his people. Matthew chapter one verse twenty-two. Right. Bring it out. Jesus Christ came to die for his people, and he came to die for the blacks and the East. And the Hispanics. Right. What people don't understand is that we've been divided and we've been conquered. And America has divided us and they had conquered us. And they had made put um uh put philosophies and doctrines in our minds to think that Hispanics and black people are not the same people. In the Bible we are we come from the same nation. We come from the nation of Israel. Right. So that's what we come out here. We come out here to do to teach unity. According to the Bible, and we come to teach God laws. Right. We must repent as the Israelites. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.